Hello, this is Brian with Vermilion Enterprises in Spring Hill, Florida. Today I want to talk to you about buying and selling gold, bullion, and coins. There's a couple things you need to know about uh, regarding the different types of bullion and coins that are out there and also the different types of premiums you can expect on both the buying and the selling side. Okay, there are dozens of different types and uh, manufacturers of gold coins and bullion. There are American Gold Eagles, Gold Buffaloes, there are Canadian Maple Leafs and Koalas and Duquettes and Escudos, uh, Pandas, uh, Krugerands of course, uh, then there are the uh, generic bars like the uh, Pam Swiss bars, OPM, uh, one ounce bars too, and these are in different fractional sizes too. They can be quarter ounce, half ounce, uh, and and then of course the full ounce. I've we've sold even five ounce pieces to people. They make ten ounce and hundred ounce bars too. So there's tons of different sizes and manufacturers and mints of uh, gold pieces out there to to pick from. And when you go to buy and sell gold coins, especially on the when you go to buy them, you really got to think about okay why. Am I buying gold? Is it because I want to collect gold or is it because I am in the, the mindset to invest in gold? If it's because I want to invest in gold, well stay away from numismatic gold, which is a coin that has been graded by like NGC or PCGS like this coin. This is a spouse coin from the US Mint. This is a Louisa Adams 2008 $10 gold coin MS70. Uh, NGC has this on their price guide as $1,300, but gold content wise it's about $550 or so. So there's not a lot of uh, gold content in there versus what it will actually retail for. So investment wise not a great investment when it comes to just the gold value. Whereas if you're looking for just straight up investment purposes, you want to go for something like a gold bullion piece like this Pam Swiss bar or uh, oops, slid out of the holder there or an OPM bar is another good one because this will trade really close to the price of gold uh, if you go to buy something like this you should probably pay between twenty and twenty five dollars over the spot price of gold at the time so if gold's at eleven hundred dollars an ounce you should pay around one thousand one hundred twenty to one thousand one hundred twenty five dollars per ounce for it and when you go to resell it you'll probably get between uh, just under spot for it. So if, if gold's at $1,100 an ounce, you'll probably get around uh, 1080 1075 somewhere around there. We, we typically pay 20 or 25 back a spot on an item like this. Now the coins that are really a uh, traditional mainstay in the U.S. gold uh, market are there's two types there's one is the gold buffalo these are really popular here with our customers this is a 2014 one ounce gold buffalo still in the original mint cellophane from the from the US mint uh, so that means it's totally uncirculated they do make proofs of these two which do trade at a higher premium now coins like these uh, right now they trade at about $50 over the spot price of gold so if gold again is at $1100 you'll probably pay around $1150 for them uh, we pay for them when they come across the counter we pay spot price for them so if gold is $1100 we will pay that for pieces like these same with the American Eagles this is a quarter ounce piece uh, it is uh, minted by the U.S. Mint. This is uh, considered a gold coin by the Mint. Made, this one here was made in 1999. Uh, it is a uh, $10 gold coin. It's a quarter ounce piece. You will pay a uh, premium over spot for it. Uh, we charge uh, spot plus $20 for quarter ounce pieces. They make these in different fractional sizes. This is a one tenth ounce piece here where we charge spot plus $10. Now when you go to sell U.S. Uh, American Gold Eagles, you will also get the price of gold for your item. So if the price of gold is $1,100 per ounce, you will get $1,100 per ounce here at Vermilion Enterprises uh, for these items. And most reputable coin dealers uh, do pay that for them. Uh, and like I said, there's a ton of other types of gold out there. Uh, a lot of foreign gold. Uh, here's an example of that. This is a Sovereign from 1890. This has uh, 0.238 troy ounces of actual gold. 
nothing numismatic about it. Uh, these trade for, we, we charge the spot price of gold plus $20. Um, they're 22 karat gold. It's, they just trade for just their gold weight. Uh, and then, like I said, there's, there's numismatic gold too. Uh, ancient gold, here's a, a coin from the Byzantine Empire. Uh, this one is from 1071 AD to 1078. It's actually got a pretty high grade. Only 4.4 grams of actual gold here. But again, this coin will sell for around $1,000. And as a whole, it's not a great investment if you're looking for just gold and uh, purchasing power. But it's a great coin if you're a collector of these pieces. So if you're looking to collect ancient gold coins, awesome find here. If you're looking to invest in gold to protect yourself against inflation or hedge against the devaluation of the dollar, not a great piece. So when you go to buy gold, you really got to think about what is my overall need for buying it. Is it because I want to collect as a as a uh, collect numismatics, and or is it because I want to buy gold to protect myself against the dollar? If it's to protect myself against the dollar, buy things like buffaloes and American gold eagles or pant bars and OPMs. If you're really wanting to collect U.S. or U.S. or foreign gold because you like the way it looks, you, you really enjoy the coins, come on in, we can set you up with slab gold, which is great gold by NGC or PCGS. And you know, there's really some exciting pieces out there and uh, collectors really go nuts for some of these things. Thank you and if you ever wanna stop in, we're at uh, 5324 Spring Hill Drive in Spring Hill, Florida. Just ask for Brian.